This is Kana. Except main story. You most likely only see her in Bina Torment. But why? Doesn't she have the same mechanics like Wakama? Where she marks the enemy. Doesn't her sub skill also increases more attack? Well that's because in Insane. You most likely only use Oko and Himari. Or Himari and New Year Fuka depending on the strat. However, unlike in Insane, Bina is one of the hardest torment bosses on release. Therefore, you need to use every student's available. And since Bina Torment has really high defense, you want to have as many students with defense reduction as possible, which is also what Kana Basic does. While her damage is not as good as Mika, it is actually higher than someone field dealer like Pina. You can see the 200k damage difference here. And that's pretty much it for Kana. She's useful if you need to run multiple teams in Torment. While you don't use Kana for PvP, don't worry Megu got you covered. She's the first student with a flamethrower, specialized in burning your backlines. While she's similar to Tsuruji, she doesn't need her EX to deal AO damage. Plus she has very high accuracy. Therefore, she can burn down most evasion tanks. If you let Megu cook them long enough, well, except for blue tank, of course. Though, as you can see here, she's quite squishy. So she won't be able to hold a flank alone. That's because she uses a bag and has low HP. So you'll need to be tactical about her position in PvP. Because sometimes all it takes to counter her is a good eye Roha hit. Well, at least Megu won't burn your pyroxenes. Unless you want to spark her. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.